Hi everybody. So for today's craft, what we're gonna make is one of your classic under ocean, you know, ocean animals that you actually might even have one in your home, right? So what this animal is, is for, I've had plenty of these before and maybe you have too. Maybe you even have one in your classroom. We had one in our classroom forever. It's a, there we go. I'm gonna use, hmm. I'm gonna use an oval to create my animal and then a triangle for the tail. Maybe a little heart for the mouth and a little, little fin. It's a, <laughs> it's a fish. It's supposed to be a fish, but I try my best, right? So let's spell fish together. Fish is a four letter word. The first letter in fish is Good, F, like so. The next is I, 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 nice, I. Now, the two letters that come next make the sound sh, 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 like you're shushing a baby, right? What two letters make the sound sh, sh, sh? Good, S, H. It's interesting, huh? But those two letters make the sound sh. That's why we got F, I, sh. Fish. So what we're gonna use for this activity is something that, <laughs> well, well, how do I explain what this is? This is from my generation. You might not even be familiar with it, but you tell me, what does this look like to you? It's kind of fun, right? This is a good old fashioned CD. And CD-ROMs were what we used to put on computer games and what you play music off of. This is a CD. We, you know, before it was all on your phone, right? So what I'm gonna use this, this for to make our fish today. And if you have a googly eye, you can use a googly eye for the eye. And then I cut out different shapes to add for my fish. So for example, what shape is this? Good, it's a heart. And this is gonna be the mouth for the fish. And then we've got the little tail for our little fishy. And then I have two other ones that are part of its fins. One's for the top, one's for the bottom. So I'm gonna save those because we're gonna add those at the very end. Now, something I really like to do with these is I love to add paint. I think paint gives it fun mixtures and especially if you use the three primary colors. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Red, yellow, and blue. And even if you, any of those three colors, if you mix red and yellow, it makes another color. If you mix blue and red, it makes another color. If you mix, uh, red or excuse me yellow and blue you get a new color so those three colors are really special because when you mix two of them together it makes a new color so what we're gonna do for this I would recommend using those colors for paint to make it a rainbow fish just like the book rainbow fish we love that book that's a great one so um, since I don't have paint I'm gonna use some markers so the markers I'm going to use are gonna be sharpies and I have different colors here and I'm actually gonna make mine, hmm, maybe I'll make a pattern for my fish. I'm gonna use the colors pink and purple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw horizontal lines like this. Now you don't have to do this, you can do whatever you want, right? Up to you. But I'm gonna start by drawing a pink line at the top and then I'm gonna make, what color next? Good, purple. And I'm drawing on the back of the CD because some CDs there might be writing on the front. So see, pink, purple. Next up is a pattern repeats itself over and over again, right? So I have pink, purple, pink, purple. So I did pink, purple. What comes next? Good, pink. And then what would come after pink? Good, purple. Wonderful work. And then it might get a little tricky towards the center part of the CD where it gets different texture. So just take your time. I'll show you what I mean. See, right here in the center, that part. Next up is pink, lovely. And color on this part. And what comes after pink in our pattern? Good, purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that next. Pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple. And it's fun, I love it. You can, and you don't have to do just stripes. You can do 
What are some other patterns that would be fun to make on your fish? Right, you can do circle, right? Like some polka dots. You can do polka dots, you can do hearts all over. You can do, maybe you wanna do diagonal lines. That'd be kind of fun, like some zigzags. Maybe you wanna make, maybe you wanna make a rainbow, a rainbow fish, right? Like I was saying, you can use all the colors in the rainbow. So this is what it's looking like so far. See the different colors? I made a pattern. And a pattern can have more than two, two, uh, two objects, right? Like the fun part about patterns is you see patterns kind of everywhere and we don't even realize it. You can even make patterns out of colors like I'm doing right now. You can even make patterns out of um, numbers, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. You can make patterns out of shapes right circle diamond circle diamond circle diamond you can make shapes or excuse me you can make patterns out of maybe you can even make patterns out of people right girl boy boy girl boy boy right it's fun you can make patterns all over the place or maybe different ages right maybe somebody in your class is three and somebody's four three four here we go and it's done i have my pattern so next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an eye. Now, like I said, if you have a um, if you have a a googly eye, that's always fun to add, right? A little googly eye. But what I'm doing is I'm coloring a little piece of black paper. I'm gonna make an eye, and I'm gonna glue it onto my craft because I'm working with what I got, right? I'm going with the flow. Here we go. Perfect. So I'm gonna glue that onto my fish, like so. <laughs> now you can see, remember it's a, it's a side view, right? Pro, side profile. Now, do you remember what the heart was for? Right, it's for its mouth. So what we're gonna do is where I glue the eye, a little under, I'm gonna glue the mouth. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the tip, right? And I'm gonna press it on like so. Perfect. Now, this one is going to be the top of the fish's fin, the top part of the fin. We're gonna put one on the top and one on the bottom. So see how I did this? One on the top, and then we're gonna put a little one on the bottom. And if you wanna put it underneath, excuse me, behind the fish, you're welcome to do that too. See how I'm putting it on the top, on top of the pattern I made? You can put it on the back if you want, that's fine too. And then on the bottom. And then last up, the tail. So I'm gonna add my tail and then we will be done with our craft. But like I said, also, if you're going to paint, it's just gonna take a little longer. But here we are, we recycled something and created something new, right? We recycled the CD and made it into a little fish. And if you wanna hang a little piece of, uh, of uh, yarn, you can have it floating in the air, pretending to swim. And there's our craft. I can't wait to see how yours turn out. I am really looking forward to it and have fun with it, right? Try your best. See you next time.